This item is single-handedly what got me known in Rocket League, building a full entire dream car setup. And quickly, before we do get into this video, with trading now gone from Rocket League, this is the next best thing by far. You can literally buy some of the rarest redeem codes in the whole entire game. So don't go spending $20 on a random black market. Click the link in the description and check it out today. So the last one went down well, and I thought, you know what? Why not make another massive trading montage? Obviously, back in the day, this is the peak of Rocket League, where every single item under the sun just went for an absolute ton of credits. You can sell, like, Halos, for example, for thousands of credits each absolutely absurd but yeah i'm gonna be i think like through these videos i do actually add the prices and spreadsheet but obviously that's completely irrelevant now so i crop them out of every single video but yeah this is mainly going to be focused around the dune racer that decal took me places when i first bought it as well the video did really really well and i wasn't the biggest fan of it at the start but then it just grew on me whack and anodize on it just made it look so much better as well and i sort of got known for using that decal so i thought you know what whacking the gold on it and Making that my car design, why not? Why not have a bit of fun with it and just make that happen? Because I used Anodize before with Lone Wolf, but Dune Racer, Emerald Pros, people knew it was my car, which I thought was pretty cool. But yeah, some of these trades, it's just absurd. It, looking back, and the thing is, if trading does come back one day, I've said this already, what are the item prices actually going to be like? Are people going to be able to afford items? Like, have people even got credits left after just being milk dry from the shop? No idea, because they got to think about it. Even if they do bring back trading, they can make so much money from the fact that people probably won't even have credits and have to buy credits from the shop. You know, Epic Games didn't really think that one through, let's be fair. And to be honest, like, the amount of times I actually bought and sold items, literally you just buy it and then seconds later, just shift it off to another person. But you have to be careful back in the day. Sometimes there'll be people like selling random items for thousands of credits and you'd see another guy offering like tens of thousands of credits and you'd buy that item and then be stuck with it because it turns out they were friends. That happened to a lot of people. I saw a lot of people on the Look Fruit page actually doing that. And as well as, as much as it's clever, that is so, so scummy to actually do. But yeah, why Draco's right there? Wow. This is where Draco's was sort of in a weird spot because obviously every item in the game got like insanely just like every like they went up in price like ridiculously. I'm trying to think of the word inflated massively in price. But Draco sort of, I don't know, in 2017 they were at their peak and ever since after they were just a bit meh which is a bit weird because zombies held their value quite nicely but draco's not really octanes were at stupid values you'd be paying like i don't know t like not tens of thousands but literally mid like five thousand credits at one point for a crimson octane and you can see right there dune racer my favorite decal in the game what a steal we're getting by the way because that thing was worth over 100k credits at one point absolutely rude but yeah and that is obviously the finished product right there of course make sure to subscribe for more daily rocket league content and yeah guess i'll see you tomorrow